Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Ladakh is a cold desert, a region of high altitude where temperature can drop as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius. The air gets thinner at high altitude also makes breathing difficult. These are few challenges that are faced by our armed forces every day protecting our frontiers. Surveillance is the key to keep our border safe from illegal intrusion. But this is not so easy at our northern frontier. The long-range air surveillance radar used by Indian Army in these areas faces certain limitations due to geography. The scanning radar beam can be partially or completely blocked from various directions where radar is located in an area surrounded by some sites by higher terrains. This is bigger challenge for both Indian Army and Air Force. Chinese Air Force can easily keep from radar detection by maneuvering between two mountain peaks and can surprise the Indian military base though it's not that easy than said but a fair possibility to skip radar detection. The terrain provides easy entrance to enemy aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles flying at low altitude. In order to overcome these limitations of radars, Indian Army is looking for modern low-level lightweight radar LWR, for threat detection and response along the China border where surveillance is restricted due to mountainous terrain. Indian Army wants a 3D active electronically scanned array radar that has a range of up to 50 km with tactical control of air defense weapons. However, there is one more challenge for Indian Army. The Ministry of Defense has included triple LWR among the weapons and system that cannot be imported or in negative import list, which means Indian Army has only one option that is to look for indigenous development and production of triple LWR. DRDO, the leading state-owned organization of India which has expertise in development of various types of radar, has also developed an triple LWR named Aslesha MK1 for ground-based surveillance in high altitude plains and mountains to detect and track airborne targets. The Indian Air Force has already inducted Aslesha radar, however Indian Army has a different requirement because of which it has not inducted Aslesha. Talking about Aslesha, it is a multi-beam, ground-based 3D surveillance radar for deployment in diverse terrain like plains, desert, mountain tops and high altitude regions. This radar detects and tracks heterogeneous air targets including helicopters, fighters and UVs at low and medium altitudes, especially on mountainous terrains. The quadripod mounted radar is built to operate in network or standalone mode to support joint or independent operations. It is an S-band radar with detection range of 50 km for target of 2 m2 RCS. It can track up to 100 targets and weighs less than 200 kg. It can track and detect fighter aircraft, helicopters, slow-moving light aircraft and UAVs. It can simultaneously track while scanning for new targets. Another big advantage of this radar is that it can be remotely operated which ensures safety of crew operating it and radar can be placed in any tactical locations. It is light, compact and modular which makes it easy to transport by men, light vehicles and underslung by helicopters. Recently, a list was released by Indian Army Chief General M.M. Narawane for development of Make in India projects under which Indian Army will develop some defense equipments in partnership with private or public industry. The list includes surveillance and armed drone swarm, counter drone system, inventory weapons, training simulator, robotic surveillance platforms, portable helipads, and a variety of ammunition. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.